Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 22nd, 2016, our word for discussion, transconfiguration. Now, what we have here in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, each of these give, gives the account. The face of Jesus shone like sun and his clothes turned as white as light. And appeared next to him were Moses and Elijah, and they were talking with Jesus. They discussed what the future of Jesus would be, uh, of his departure, and how he f would fulfill everything to Jerusalem. Peter was one of these. He was excited, asked the Lord to build temples for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah, and the Lord told him no. And to Peter, 1, 16 through 18, for we did not follow cleverly devise, miss when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We were eyewitnesses of his majesty, for when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice from heaven was by the majestic glory, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard that very voice from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. 1 John 3, 2, dear friends, now we are children of God, and we will be, and this has not been made known, but we do know that when Jesus appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now this word defined, it's a change of form or appearance into a more beautiful one, and a spiritual state, as a metamorphosis, an exalting, glorifying, and spiritual change. Moses and Elijah represent the law and prophets. Jesus being bright represents God's glories. The transconfiguration shows Jesus in his glorified form that they saw as a preview of his coming glorification and enthronement as King of Kings, Lord of Lords. The glory of Jesus' prophecy and the law are made known to man. We are to follow the law and believe in the prophecy and believe Jesus Christ as the only Son of God who freed us from sin. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed